How you can anticipate heart failure symptoms. Here we've got the two heart model. There's the left heart, which pumps oxygenated blood to the brain, to the kidney, to the liver, and the rest of the body. And the right heart, which pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs. And the lungs connect the two hearts. The right heart pumps blood into the lungs where it becomes oxygenated and returns to the left heart to be sent out systemically. When you have heart failure, blood is going to back up before the broken pump. If there's pulmonary hypertension, that is, if there's right heart failure, in isolation, without left heart failure, fluid is going to back up before the broken pump. It's going to see venous distension, congestion, edema in the periphery. If instead there's isolated left heart failure, blood is going to back up before the broken pump, and you're going to get edema in the lungs. There's also issues with forward flow, but most patients present with fluid accumulation, and it depends where that fluid is to determine the symptoms. Two heart model, left heart, right heart. If the left heart breaks, fluid is going to back up before the broken pump. You're going to get pulmonary edema. You're going to present with paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, orthopnea, and dyspnea on exertion. If you listen, you're going to see crackles. If you do a heart cath, which you should not do to diagnose heart failure, you're going to see an elevated pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. All of this is left heart broken pulmonary edema. If you've got right heart failure, you're going to get peripheral edema. Distension of veins, you're going to see jugular venous distension, positive hepatojugular reflux. You're going to see dependent edema and weight gain. It's dependent, not pedal. If someone spends all their time on their back, Fluid is going to accumulate in their butt, not in their feet. And it is possible to develop a congestive hepatopathy and long-standing heart failure might result in ascites. Now, most patients who have heart failure are going to have left heart failure leading to an increased pulmonary pressure resulting in right heart failure. That is, most patients present with both pulmonary edema and peripheral edema. But you want to keep the pulmonary edema and peripheral edema syndromes separate because they can present in isolation. Online MedEd will save your life in med school.